Welcome to this tutorial video on using annotations and giving feedback in Moodle. One of the benefits of using annotations to give student feedback is you can point out specific sections that need some improvement or that your students really knocked out of the park. If your students submit their work on Moodle assignments, Moodle will automatically convert the document and you can make any necessary annotations directly in Moodle. To do this, first navigate to the assignment which you want to annotate. From here, click Grade. Now in the upper right hand corner, select the student that you want to give some feedback to. And just to know, any students that have an asterisk to the right of their name, their submission has not been graded yet. Now that we have this document open, Let's take a look at the different annotation options available. And by the way, if you are unsure about what any of these icons mean, you can hover your cursor over the icon and then it will display what that icon does. So let's begin from left to right. On the left hand side, we have the page toggle option. So if your students submit an assignment with multiple pages, you can easily navigate between pages. The next icon, which is a piece of paper with a magnifying glass, allows you to search through comments. This is a very useful tool if you have a lot of written comments and you need to go back to refer to a previous comment you made. The rectangle icon with two arrows inside it allows you to expand or collapse the comments you have made. The two circular arrow icons in the middle allows you to rotate the page. So if your student accidentally uploads a document in landscape or portrait mode, you can easily rotate it as needed. The page icon and the colored square icon are both related to making a comment on the page. The page icon allows you to size your text box accordingly. The colored box icon to the right allows you to select a color for your text box. So if I want to make a red text box, I can select the light red color and then make a new comment. If you happen to make a comment and need to delete it, simply click on the icon in the upper right hand corner of the comment text box and then select delete comment. The hand icon allows you to click and drag around the document. The cursor icon allows you to select any annotations and delete them. To delete your annotations, simply click on the trash can icon. The icon that looks like two cursive L's or two loop-de-loops is the pen annotation tool. You can use this to write like you would with a pen. If you need to draw something in the document, this can be a great tool for that. To delete any of the drawing annotations you made, simply use the cursor tool and click and then press the trash can icon. The next three icons are all shape icons. The diagonal line allows you to draw lines all over the document. These lines can be vertical, diagonal, or horizontal. One benefit of the line tool is that these lines will be much straighter than if you tried to use the pen tool. Regarding the other shape icons, we have a rectangle icon, which allows us to highlight a specific section in the document, or if I wanted to select certain words, I could use the oval tool.
Another important annotation tool available is the highlighter tool. From here, I can select specific lines in the document to highlight. If I want to change the color of my highlights or the color of any shape annotations or the pen tool, I can click on the water droplet icon that is currently colored red, select a new color, and then make my annotations. This can be a great opportunity for faculty who use color coding to indicate different types of feedback. So for example, if I needed to make a blue square or blue rectangle, I can do that here. If I wanted to change the color, could make it yellow and then make a yellow line, for example. The last annotation tool we'll take a look at is the stamp tool. This tool can be used if you want to add a little bit of pizzazz to your annotations. The stamp icon is located on the far right. And right next to that stamp icon, you can also select which stamp you want to put in the document. Currently, it is set as a red X, but I will change it to a green check mark. Now, anywhere I click in the document, you will see a green check mark. And once again, to delete any of these icons, I can click on the cursor tool, click on my stamp, or click on my rectangle, and click the trash icon. Now that we have covered the annotation features, I do want to briefly mention a few other things in the quick grader about feedback. If you want to give your students some overall feedback, you can do that in the feedback comments section. If you prefer making changes via Microsoft Word, you can also download the document and make any necessary changes using Word. If giving students feedback via Microsoft Track Changes is your preferred method of feedback, you can also upload the file under the Feedback Files section. The last thing I want to mention in this video is you can also record some audio feedback in the Feedback Poodle section. To do this, simply click Record, begin speaking, and then you can either stop, pause, play, or upload the recording. There's also a toggle view at the very bottom of the page, so if you only want to see the feedback on the right hand side, have a split view, or expand your view of the document.